now move into why you may have felt to need felt the need to do the drip series. Absolutely. Because what we've witnessed now, especially of late, is so many believers on all, a lot of our timelines shipwrecking the faith, denouncing the faith of Christianity. One of your brothers, which I know has to be a sensitive subject, a fanatic saying, hey, after after 30 years of being in the faith, it's not for me. I'm going to resign my myself from the Christian church. Right. I'm going to res resign myself from the holistic body of Christ and say, I no longer believe the gospel I once preached. Right. Um, this is now, I don't know how much you knew or because he said he had been dealing with this for a while. So I don't know how much you knew about his announcement and others. And maybe that was what you were seeing with the foresight to do the drip series. But I felt like it was very timely. So now, in light of what you said about the past, how you as, as a shepherd, you and your brothers as a shepherd had to step in and say, A, certain things aren't in step to what you're seeing now. How do you compare the two eras yeah. of, 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 of Christian hip hop? Maybe mm -hmm. what, where it was then, what it is now, and then your reasoning for doing what you did as far as the drip series is concerned. Yeah, again, the era. So Christian hip hop was becoming something. Now it is something. You see what I'm saying? It's, you know, we, we relate to thing, things differently. You know, when we feel like something's in progress, we give it a little more leeway. Once it feels like it shows you what it is, then you relate to it differently. Like, oh, it is something. And uh, so uh, the era back then, it was, again, it's a free for all. Christian hip hop is not legislated, just like hip hop. You know, there was a group of people that used to want hip hop to be religion. You know, Craig yeah. G. Lewis, that like false teaching heretic. Yeah, y'all were going at know, it. Uh, okay, and again, yeah, poor thing. But, uh, but he used to, um, and it doesn't mean that he doesn't say some things that I kind of would agree with. But overall, um, but he, 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 you know, he used to say Christian hip hop. I mean, hip hop is a religion. He said, it is a religion. No, 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 no. In other words, there's a group of people, for them, they want it to be religion. And they would love it if everybody who, who bought into hip-hop would buy into that philosophy. Right. But because there's no sovereign over hip-hop, hip-hop is this public domain. It's like the internet. Who, who owns the internet, right? <laughs> right? It's, it's this public domain. So it's not a religion for everybody, especially people who are satisfied with the religion that they have, right? right. <laughs> hip hop is not my religion, right? And um, so same thing, there was nobody. So at the time it was just, people had different philosophies on how to engage, engage. You engage it as an artist, you engage it as a minister, you engage it as a nonprofit, you engage it as a for-profit, you engage it as the way of the world with, you engage it with, like do you come and you show, you know, Beamer Benz Bentley, you know, do you ha is your video like with you with knots and, and, and gold chains and da -da, or is it, no, we wanna, we wanna model something separate. So at that time, Christian hip hop was a free for all and you chose your lane and you ran with it. You and chose you, your lane. And what do you see now in light of that? Well, I'm, what I'm saying now, uh, hip hop is a proven means of changing your fortune. See, before we didn't know it would be something you could live off of, nor was that our mandate. That, that wasn't our demand. Hey, amen. That, 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 nor was that our, our, our demand. We were ready to work and do hip hop out of, out of the love. We used to ask God, Lord, it would be dope if we could do this, like, and, and, and live off of it. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's and, real. Um, and uh, now it's clear you can live off of it. So, people, some people primarily, like, that's, they hold that, like, that, that's a must. Like, if I can't eat off of it, basically, it's a disappointment to me. Mm. That was not the case for people in the early days. It's a disappointment. It lets me down. I'm finished with this. I'm not going to do it. I'm, I'm not going to do the Christian version anymore. I'm not going to. Like people will notice. They'll say it's a ceiling on like gospel music or, or Christian music or Christian hip hop. This is a ceiling. And that's why people don't want to do it. Right. It was all, it's always been a ceiling. It's understood that it's a ceiling. Right. And so the question is, do you do it because you sense that? So what do I see now? I see now that Christian hip hop is being engaged primarily as art and as a means of making a living. Mm. Before it was primarily as a means of bearing witness to Christ to a genre that was devoid of Christ. Not devoid of religion, not devoid of the name Jesus circulating, devoid of Christ as he has made himself known. So again, to, 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 like, to um, embellish 
some people think we're just trying to talk to the church. Nobody from my era thought like that. Even dudes that we poured into will say, yeah, because, you know, Christian hip hop is for like people who want to reach the church. I rebuke that. <laughs> I'm like, that is, you all came up with that. <laughs> because there's nobody who got into hip hop because the church wasn't even having it. <laughs> Correct. We didn't do it. We, we wanted, we, but we also thought that God, like he put Moses in, a, in, a, in the water yeah. and steered Moses to Pharaoh's daughter. But we also believe 